What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, today it is currently May 17th and it is 10.45 a.m. And look at what just came in the mail. There it is. Jack Carr in the blood. Uh, I mean, I've already looked through this book. I mean, it looks incredible. Um, from prologue to epilogue, it's about 420 pages. So I got some reading to do, but I'll get a review up as soon as possible. See you guys. What's up, guys? The wait is finally over. Jack Carr's new book, In the Blood, has officially been released. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed this book, and all that's left to do now is do a review. So let's do it. All right, so as usual, let's talk about the author. Um, Jack Carr is a retired U.S. Navy SEAL. Uh, he served in the Navy for about 20 years, and then he got out in 2016. And then in 2018, his first book, The Terminal List, uh, came out. It, it was published in 2018. And every year since then, he's been writing. He is a outdoorsman, and he has a uh, podcast called Danger Close. Let's talk about the plot. After an old friend is shot out of the sky in Burkina Faso, James Reese embarks on a new journey to bring her murderer to justice. Reese will use both old and new friends, as well as old and new methods, to deliver his vengeance. In this novel, James Reese will use the most advanced technology to track and kill his prey. The only question is, when will that technology be tracking us? All right, so what did I think of this book? Well, I thought that this book was the absolute best one that he's written so far. Um, you know, everything from the action to the adventure to the dialogue of the characters, everything was there, everything was amplified. Um, it, it was absolutely incredible. And I, I think it honestly has something to do with the isolation period, maybe during COVID. Um, and I'd be really interested to see authors in the next year or so um, coming out with these books that they had written during that time because it just seems that they were able to focus so much more um, on, on the book. And, you know, as, as terrible as it may have been or whatever, the, the art that has come out of that has been absolutely incredible. And this is just uh, one of the first tastes, I think. As always, the chapters in this book are very short, very sweet. Um, but there are some action scenes that are the best that he's ever written by far in this book, 100%. It's, it's some of the best uh, thriller chapters that I've read um, in a very long time. There's a, a helicopter, right? That fighting scene within the helicopter was broken up within eight or nine chapters. It was absolutely insane. And um, it was very fun to read and very cool to see his progression um, in, in writing those uh, action chapters. The character development for both old and new characters uh, remains to be exceptional. Um, you know, for new characters, there's plenty of backstory that we get to know them um, and see where they've come from. And then for old characters, he expands on, he expands on them, you know, uh, like peeling layer by layer. Uh, every book, every new book, we get to see another side of a, of an old character, and uh, I think that's incredible. Another thing that stuck out to me uh, while I was reading this book was the emotion behind some of the chapters, especially early on um, in, the, in the very beginning part of this novel. Uh, there's a few chapters, especially uh, with Caroline Hastings, that's Rafe's mom. Um, she sits down with Reese and kind of talks about you know the power of forgiveness and shares her stories of when she was in Africa um, and fought, that are known as the Turs. Uh, fighting them and just seeing what war can do to someone. And she was basically talking to Reese about, like, don't let it consume you, um, and that there's power and forgiveness. And then as well as uh, there's some chapters that talk about uh, Reese's dad, and it's from his perspective, uh, about, like, a younger Reese. And so it's just kind of cool to see that there's, other than, you know, the action that we all love, that there is some chapters that have emotion to them. Um, and I think that that was really nice to see, and I, I really enjoyed that. All right, guys, so in conclusion, um, like I said, this is an extremely well-written book. Um, the chapters are incredible. The characters are fully developed, uh, both new and old. And the story overall is just an, a very intriguing ride to be on. Um, and speaking of the story, the ending is going to be, it's just going to blow your mind. Um, and it's going to leave you wanting uh, book six immediately after you finish this one. So if you've got any hesitations on getting it, don't. Go out and get it. Enjoy it on the weekend. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys uh, like it as much as I do. If you guys like this video, if you guys like these reviews, uh, like, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next review.